Hello and welcome back to The Righteous Reichlander. So, we are probably going to die this episode. If we have a look at it, we got negative two health, which is a pretty good sign that you're gonna die when you're 33. So, negative two, I think that puts your life expectancy roughly around 30. That's, that's just from my experience. Do we have any positive health traits? Have a quick look at that. Uh, does not look like we have any positive health. So we're probably dead. We're probably real dead. Let's just have a look here. Uh, yeah, no health. So likelihood we die this episode or if, unless the severely injured goes away, which it can go away. That is a positive thing that could happen to us, but you know, unlikely. Um, anyway, we have our son, he's 14 gonna be about two years so if we could survive two years that's perfect for us uh, actually it's only like a year and three months if we could survive that we then start as our son our son is bright he's got fantastic stats he's gonna get a good education although we're educating him we probably shouldn't be educating him we should have somebody who's better at his actual education educating him probably i think uh let's assign him a guardian Looking for a high, uh, yeah, let's go for this guy, our vassal. Make him like us a little bit more. Although he's really bad at everything else. Maybe, actually, this one looks good. Yeah, she's got pretty good stats across the board. She's got the wrong education, though. What are our stats like? Out of curiosity. Oh, our stats are rubbish, yeah. So, um, let's, um... So, we're looking for high stewardship, and then we're looking for, like, this uh, Midas Touch thing, I think. Maybe we'll just go for the guy who has absolute highest stewardship. Yeah. You can educate him. It's all okay. He likes us a little bit more because we've sent our son to be educated. That's good. So now our son is being educated by our vassal. But yes, he's going to uh, become 16. Everything's going to be great. He's going to get Midas touched. He is then going to have amazing stats. Mar marry this person. The Midas touched fertility bonus kind of counteracts the age bonus. There is a point where you just cannot have children. I think it might even be 35 in this. Although, the mod might have changed things a little bit because um, there are all sorts of different races and things. So they may have adjusted that sort of stuff. But, you know, generally, it's I think it's after 35 it becomes very unlikely. So they need a child very quickly. But if that happens, perfect. If it doesn't happen, then chances are what we want to do is get rid of her somehow. Probably she might just die before we die. And then we want to uh, become someone else. But also the nice thing is, even though we push to get our land, even if we don't get a child and inherit the land, what we do get is we do get an alliance for free. Which is very nice. Although wait, is she our vassal? No. No, she's not our vassal. I was very... Oh, it's because... Yeah. Uh, it's because I was looking at the high level map when actually what I need to look at is that level. And then it becomes much easier. So we have a vassal, uh, not vassal, we have an ally who could potentially help us in wars like against these people perhaps or something like that. Which is good. Anyway, let's unpause. Oh, we have a lot of money actually. Do we want to spend it? Uh, oh, we're saving up. That's good. That's good. Right. Let's carry on. Also, giving our son a lot of money to start with is good because he can inherit stuff. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about is Sylvania appears to have taken over um, Ostland again. Yeah. So they took over all of that, and uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. So actually, we can see roughly when it was. The SERP title was... Uh, wait. Yeah, it was a whole year ago, but I didn't notice, so I thought it was worth mentioning that Sylvania is actually a threat again. We're kind of in three major bulks with Averland just sitting there. We got Westland, Sylvania, Reichland. In fact, it looks like we should take Averland, ideally, and then we as they're the only neutral. Like, they're, they're the only weak party around. I don't know. We'll see what our liege wants to do. Or our liege's liege, because we're not actually even underneath our liege anymore. Uh, we still have a weak claim? Oh, yeah, that's that's not even possible. Um, yeah. Although, if we were to get uh, if we were to get a favour with our liege, we could force them to press our claims uh, if we wanted to. How strong is our liege? 23,000. That's pretty good. Are those uh, hired? Those are hired. Okay. What war is he in? Oh, he is, uh, he's in this one. He's also defending against Count Vlad. Okay. Yeah. He must be this one that he's... Is he... Yeah, this one he's indirectly, the war boss one. 
Okay, so that's where he has the men hired for. Yeah, because he's not in that one directly. But yeah, if we were to get a favor with him, we, we could force him to um, press our claims, I think. Let's see, we can check here. Um, ask your leash to press one of your claims. We can't force him, but we could ask him to. So that's cool. Uh, we're about to finish our one in Molenfort. Oh, we also have two trade posts. Are we building in both of these right now? No, so we should build. Um, let's get the tech spread rate up and the prestige and all of that. And then in the other one, let's get... Oh, we're already fully built up there. Perfect. Okay. Right. Uh, while casually strolling around the premises, as one often does, you come across Captain Michael. Mikal, sitting at his desk, overburdened with work. You see this as a great opportunity to help him out and gain favour in return, but to your surprise, he not only refuses your help, but has the nerve to insult you for it. Oh, really? That's just not on. Yeah, that's just not on at all. Yeah, very rude. Okay, uh, about to finish in Molenfurt, which we just did. Let's, um... Actually, how much did it cost for the, this building over here? Just uh, a little bit, um... I can't see how much it costs, but... Oh, it was only like, it must have been only like 50. Oh wow, those are really cheap. I should definitely build them at all times. Bowling Fort, uh, what do we have here? Uh, Reich's Armory, that's pretty good. Gunners, Gunners, Reed Hunters, that's tax. It is a little bit of tax. No, oh, let's grab a little bit of tax. It'll kind of pay for itself a little bit. Yeah. I really don't like the orcs over here, because if they siege my land, they're going to get rid of the trade post again. Ah, they're moving in. That's good. That's fine. Oh, they're actually running away. Even better. Even better. What has Vlad declared for? I know he's done this holy war for Tobin. Tobin must be a duchy over here. Ah, yeah, so it's for that bit of land right there. Okay, interesting. They have a lot of men. Are those all uh, event spawns? But which one's that? That's, uh... Oh, interest. So that's Imperial Talibetland, but that is definitely a, uh, a Grail follower there. Okay, weird. Um, anyway. But yeah, those will be... Uh, he's hired a lot, actually. Not that many events spawned, which means these might actually be good troops. Well, that's a worrying one. Especially as a lot of them are from his vassals. Yeah. We're probably going to lose that war, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's not going to go very well. I'm trying to think, would, well, we really don't want Sylvania to attack us in a holy war for our land. I was trying to think, do we want to be under Sylvania at some point? We could be. We probably don't want to be, but we, if we got underneath them, we, um, yeah, if it wasn't a holy war, that'd be fine. If it's a holy war, we lose our land, which I, pr I probably don't want to happen, because that would end the game. Anyway, uh, you've made our liege like us more. Nice. He likes us at 20, 24. That's, that's reasonable. Okay, um, dear Lorenzo, uh, I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a little bit. Well, given that you just helped us with our liege, of course I'll come. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to your gathering of friends. See how it goes. Yeah, we're losing this Vlad war really quickly. Oh, never mind. We got a lot of war score back. Must have, um, we must have got the war goal or something. Hmm, what, what got that much worse? Yeah, yeah, they, they lost a siege or something. That's why we got so much. Uh, everyone lies, and the courtiers around Molenfurt are no exception, uh, and now we're going to confront them. After Count Oratil told me not everyone lies, I started laughing. I told him that if he could prove it, I would start believing in mankind again. So there's a 20% chance that he does it, and it didn't happen. There's the end times are near once again, so, yep. That just basically, I think that means that Chaos is stronger. Not 100% sure, it's, it's kind of hidden in the background, as are a lot of mechanics in this mod. Um, yeah, anything else happening in the world? Oh, they've got this new one in the middle of the un Ungols there. But apart from that, not too much. Oh, we have a child who lacks an education. Lorenzo. Lorenzo, you can have the education. Well, you're not good at... good. Which son is this? This is our second son, right? Third son? Fourth son. Fifth son. This is our fifth son. Okay. 
Um, in which case, it doesn't really matter. It looks like you're the best at stewardship currently. Maybe we'll try and push that. That means brooding would go well, so you'd get just. What's fussy? Well, you might get just. Fussy, greedy, paranoid. Greedy's good as well, though. So, yeah, I guess we'll go for stewardship. Yeah, stewardship. That's fine. You arrived at the private rooms of Count Gerhard. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. You're looking forward to this. And we have groomed an heir. Our heir has come of age. He got Midas touched. Yes, fantastic. That's 21 stewardship. That is a brilliant heir. Um, especially for holding a lot of land. But also, if he inherits, he's going to earn so much money because of the bonus uh, from his stewardship. So the betrothed can marry. We are going to say... Yes, we would like this to happen. That, yes, it worked. I, oh, he had to... Wait. It went to him for accept, accepting? That's weird. Anyway. Um, right. So, we have a daughter-in-law. That's very good. So, we have double Midas touched. That's 30... Well, that's... Yeah, 30% uh, fertility bonus. There's no negative fertility on either of them. There's a high chance this might work. She did take scholarship focus, not like something like family focus, which would be more useful to us. Uh, we kind of want to die as soon as possible because then we can become our son and we can take something like a... Um... Yeah, we could take a... What's it called? Yeah, we could take family focus. Yeah, we could take good focus. Um, yeah, that would probably be the best way to go. Let's see how... Let's see. Uh, he's brought out the board and pieces and suggests that we play a few rounds to determine who is the better strategist. We will play for honor. We played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as you tried to attack your opponent's positions without opening your defense too much. Eventually, however, you made a fatal mistake that your opponent exploited and you lost the game. Oh. Oh well. That's unfortunate. It doesn't really matter too much. I think you can get a diplomacy from doing that. From, uh, I think it's an aspiring board gamer or something like that, or aspiring strategist, or... Anyway. The reveling and crowsing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. We got some prestige for it. That's fine. We still have the scholarship focus. We kind of want to switch from that, because we lost the uh, event chain. Court priest Leonhard bursts into your chambers, flanked by several warriors dragging Mir Karl of Usengen with them in chains. My duke, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children were plagued by nightmares of this man. He's obviously a warlock. What shall be done with him? I mean, have you seen his um, beard? He is definitely obviously a warlock. He also has cancer and the flu. He's probably a follower of Nurgle then, right? Yeah, because that they, they t tend to collect these. Then it gives them positive health instead of negative health. Oh yeah, burn him. Get rid of that guy. Yeah, don't want him around. Yeah, just ignore the screams in the background. Uh, our truce has ended with uh, the Uberswrecked guy. As he's growing older, I can see that Reinhold could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but it's a chance to make a self-sacrifice. Okay. Well, he is inbred, so this isn't really the child I want to make the self-sacrifice for. Uh, because he's going to have negative 5 to all of his traits. Wait, is this our... Is this person second in line? Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, he's third in line. That's fine. If he was second in line, then our first son has no chance and he's just going to die instantly. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. A griffin mount. Oh, I forgot about this. It's been ten years and your griffin mount stands ready. It's a worthy ally and give you many advantages in battle. So what is the griffin mount? So we can only have the griffin or the pegasus, right? Yeah. So this one's 10, 10, 10, 10, 2 prestige, monthly, and personal combat skill 3. Okay, so it's just a slightly better Pegasus. We'll switch to our Griffin. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, where is our Leisha's Leisha's army here? It looks like... Oh, wait, no, that must be them. Yeah. Oh, they're going to win this battle. I think. Yeah, they're going to win the battle. That's good. Yeah, that, that will definitely be a lot of war score and a lot of lads um, event spawn slash hired. Yes, yeah, so that's his event spawn gone. Although his event spawn are his best troops, so you know, um, he'll. Oh, sorry, his event spawn are his worst troops. So it's not really that big an impact on his army. Oh, we lost some land because they decided to siege us over here. I think. Wait, is it over here they're sieging us? Where are they? Yeah, that must have been over here. They sieged us. 
Okay. Oh. I see. <sighs> Executed because he was a magic user. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, at least our second son isn't that bad. All things considered, he's actually reasonably good. I mean, apart from the, having the wrong um, education. He's turned out pretty well. Um, I do want to switch... As he's sorry, without uh, the wrong, um, what's it called? Religion. Hmm. Well, I do want to switch his educator to somebody else because I want him to get a good education trait. So we'll switch it to Michael, who will like us a little bit more. That's all right. Switch him over. Hopefully that works. Uh, not happy about this. How many men do the orcs have out of curiosity? Two point. Hmm. That seems doable. We could... We could definitely go and deal with the orcs. Right. Uh, let's merge up over here, and then we can go deal with the orcs. Yeah, they're not going to get our trade post. They're running away. That's good. Uh, oh, are, are they? They might not be. A new ambition. I'd like to groom an heir, please. That means that we can now... Um, oh, we can't, we can't introduce him to the realm because he's not in our court. Yeah. Oh well, we'll get the Groom and Air one again. That's okay. Where are you? To be honest, if they destroyed our trade post at this point, I'm not too mad. Um, yeah, I'm not too mad because we can we haven't built it up completely. Put in Frank. We'll put in Gotthold, and we'll put in Rupert. We'll go and beat up some orcs. Um, yeah, I'll join you for a gathering of friends. That's fine. They, they're getting double bonus here. Um, yeah. I think we'll still be okay. Because we're going in with double their troops. But we'll see. Yeah, we're going to win this side very heavily. We also... Oh, they have more heavy calf than us. That's worrying. Although we don't have all of our army here yet. So it could be that we just don't have the right army. We did win this flank, which gives us a huge advantage. We're winning the other flank. Oh, their flanks have nothing in them. That's when, that's why we're winning them. Because they only have like 80 in each flank, which means that we're going to attack into the center and get our huge bonuses here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we finished the stuff building in the trade post, actually, which is nice. Uh, request capital support. No. That's fine. Uh, don't need the favor right now. I'll just hold off. We're probably not going to live very long, so I felt it was, uh, yeah, probably not worth uh, getting that favor. Can we join our le it'll be our Lieges Lieges War. Can I offer to join your war this one, the invasion? Yes, fantastic. I want to join it directly because that means that what we're doing will add war score towards, uh, yeah, towards this war. Okay, right. Let's head over here. Beat up some orcs. Our nephew died clutching his heart. Oh. Okay. Uh. Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say, our sister's a witch hunter. I guess, um. She's been sleeping around with the King of Grand Count of Sterland. Okay, interesting. But, our nephew is dead. Does she have more children? She does have more children. Interesting. Maybe she became a witch hunter. Oh, it must be from, like, her first marriage or something. Oh, well, no. Maybe she, yeah, maybe she became a witch hunter after her marriage. I forget. Uh, anyway, let's chase the orcs down. Get rid of those guys. Okay. Uh, I'm happy chasing the orcs, actually. I think that's probably our best way to contribute to this war. Arrived at the private rooms of Count Gerhard. Where did they go after this? They must have, they must have gone to that province, because we can't see it. That's fine. He brought out the boards. We're going to play. And he won again. Oh, so he just invites us over so he can win at board games. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Browsing is over. And we should be able to catch this army. It's much weaker than last time. And it should be much easier than last time. Because we have our full, um, like, army. Like, there. All at one time. 
Uh, anyway, uh, something to build here. Let's build... I don't know. We could build this one. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, the one that gives a bonus to everything. Yeah, we, we won this battle so heavily. Nice. Uh, this siege seems to be taking some time. Oh, it's because they're not assaulting. But what's this? These are spell points. Oh, interesting. You can siege with spell points? Interesting. Uh, what are you? You're just a vassal. That's fine. Let's head to the orc land and start sieging. Uh, we need to put in a new commander on this side, which we will. We have a got hold on each flank. And we have another heir. It's Cataldo, our son. He is an heir of the wrong culture and the wrong religion, which is very interesting. Um, but we'll see how it goes next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.